Hello everyone, this is Country Yellow, bringing you another video talking about survivability in Star Trek Online. And in today's video, I'm going to go over the top six sea store traits that um, if you're a science or an energy player inside the game, that you might want to consider getting. Um, so in this video, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, there'll be six um, sea store traits that I'll talk, talk about in, in total. Um, three for science captains and three for energy captains. However, in that list, the, the top trait for each one of them can also be used for the other type as well. Um, like, like normal, the time links for each of those traits will be in the, the description. There will not be a TLDW because this video is going to be insanely short. I've had a lot of trouble with Star Trek Online crashing, and so I haven't been able to do a lot of the really long videos, which, you know, since a lot of you don't, we're only watching between seven and nine minutes right now on average and that shouldn't really be a big deal oh and for fun th funsies here um star trek online has continuity errors too just as a gamble in this little snippet here we have 24 10 uniforms in the discovery era on um this guy's little ship but anyway um section one here is gonna be science traits there'll be three here um, I, I did consider to put more, but then I was like, putting more than three, I was like, I was stretching trying to find ones that were better that you couldn't already earn inside the game. So these are just the three that initially came to mind for me. Number three is, um, it's called Exog Modulation. It's from the Kronos Temporal Dreadnought Cruiser. I'm um, going to cost 3,000 Zen to get the ship, or 6,000 Zen to get the full um, Temporal Bundle for it. You can also get the Temporal Special Agent Pack. But especially with um, that new um, Discovery Starter Pack, uh, with all the with, the, with, with that leveling ship, um, that really devalues this particular gigantic special agent, agent pack significantly. Basically, to the point that if you just get this pack plus one other ship in it, and then um, the starter pack, you have everything that you really want from this pack, in my opinion. Um, the big strength about this is that it's it's a pretty strong DPS amplifier because it gives um, an additional 20% bonus exotic damage. So this is category two damage, um, which I don't know. At some point in this channel, I'll probably also do a brief covering as to the difference between the different categories of damage in the game. But um, I have way too much to cover on this channel, so um, it's 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 great for that. But you have to use a temporal ability or directed energy modulation to do so. So it's pretty limited as, as to what starships you're going to use it on, but it's still a nice damage amp. Number two for me is a trade called Checkmate. Um, this, in my opinion, is almost a must-have for a lot, a lot of your science ships out there. Some of your super high-end DPS people aren't going to value because it only gives regular exotic damage instead of bonus exotic damage. And so they value the trait prior to this one a bit more than this one, but it's still extremely strong. You get this from the tier six um, science flagships. There's a science, there's there's a Federation, KDF, and um, Realm of Republic version for this. Um, it's three thousand zen per ship, or you can get that gigantic cross cross fla faction flagship bundle um, for all all three factions, which gives you nine ships in total because there's a science, engineering, and tactical version of the flagships for each faction. Um, it's um, so this one is, is a bit more usable because it gives you a DPS amplifier after you use any control ability, which the list is just right there, which is basically good for any science build out there. Because basically any science build, you're probably going to have gravity well, if not tractor beam um, repulsors with the duty option that makes tractor, uh, tractor beam repulsors actually, actually pull in. But anyway, um, this is um, an extremely good trait, but it's slightly inferior to the next tray, which is called improved gravity well. Now for this particular trait, um, you, you, you get this from the science pilot escorts. Again, just like the last one, it's 3000 Zen per ship or it's 12,000 Zen for the whole pilot escort me mega bundle. So nine escorts in total. Um, the nice thing about this one is that if you've, if you've ever done tr trying to do science builds before, You'll realize that without um, duty officers and, and without this trait, a lot of your science cooldowns are pretty long, to be honest. Um, and so, 
like it like gets to the point that sometimes you might when i was initially trying science um before i started doing more, more research on it a couple months ago i was like man i'm doing this gravity well with a bunch of stuff in it but now i've got these huge cooldowns how, how do i work around this and this is one easy way to do so um which it it increases the duration of gravity well by 20 seconds it reduces the cooldown by another 20 seconds and um well a side note that it also makes the main target of, of the gravity well also take more damage but um this thing is is insanely good um uh, basically a must have for any science tank out there um pretty good for any science dps build and also any tank basically if you go with, with my regular tanks suggestions and have a gravity well on your tank this is also useful because it'll improve the gravity well of, of your tank to make it last even longer so that it's easier to broadside or forward fire into the, all the guys stuck in the gravity well. But anyway, um, next section is energy traits. I'll just go through the three here as well. My number three here is shield overload. Not necessarily because this is a weak trait. In my opinion, this is the number two best, um, well, I guess it is still technically number number three because invincible is also up, up there too but invincible is a bit harder to get um but anyway um shield overload is, is extremely powerful because it gives you an additional 75 shield resistance now it does drastically decrease in the shield resistance percentage every five seconds but initially whenever you um activate shield overload you have 75 percent shield you have almost 75 percent shield resistance on your ship just flat out which is an insanely big deal um, um you get this from the sagittarius temporal cruiser which is only available for federation captains which means for kdf and Realm republic captains once you buy the ship the sister version of the ship you're able to just claim the trade itself from the account reclaim store for kdf and Realm republic captains which is pretty cool because it means for those captains you actually don't have to worry about leveling up a ship to tier five mastery to get the to get the trade they just automatically claim and get the trade three thousand zen for the ship or fifteen thousand zen for the big pack that with with the ship in it pack's not worth it just buy the ship um great for tanks the big problem with this trade is just that a lot of your dps builds can't afford emergency power to shields which is what you need in order to activate this trait a lot of your dps builds are going to have emergency power to weapons and emergency power to engines if you're going to have two different emergency power to stuff on your ship and you don't do ox to bat but anyway um because of that it's slightly less usable than other traits out there which is why it's only number three number two is emergency weapon cycle this is one that's and also on another emergency power ability thing but most builds out there are gonna if, if you're gonna have emergency powers at all in it emergency power weapons is probably going to be in it so um it is pretty valuable you get it from your tier six battle cruisers uh three thousand zen per ship or you can get the big bundle for all all three of them Strength here is that um, this is one of the tr starship traits that I consider for weapon power cost reduction for a lot of my tanks. Alongside that, um, it also gives you an additional firing cycle haste. This is the reason why a lot of our DPS captains really highly prize this ship or prize this trait. And it's also the reason why the vast majority of DPS builds still include a emergency weapon cycle despite the nerfs that the weapon power cost reduction has received over time like it, it almost got it's almost to the point now that this weapon power cost is almost down to like 25 percent or 20 percent or even less and when you have more weapon power costs on on the ship it's even weaker than that so but the haze is still there so a lot of your dps guys like it because of that my number one though and this should be to no surprise to anyone who's who's watched a lot of videos on on this channel it is history will remember this is from your tier six support cruiser for fed captains and your tier six support battle cruiser for kdf captains around the republic 
just gets the ship of, of whatever faction that they're allied with. 3,000 Zen per ship, 4,500 with the full support cruiser bundle. Whenever these things are on sale, these prices also fluctuate quite a bit as well from that. Um, this, like, this is the most easily available regeneration trait inside the game. There are two other traits that I've mentioned in, in previous videos. There might even be a link up here if I can um, add the, the card to it. Talk about the history will remember um, trait itself, comparing it with, with two other traits. The other two are extremely hard to access for, for, for KDF captains. Federation captains are able to get um, a starship trait called Honored Dead. Relatively easy off the exchange for only like, I don't know, four, four to seven million credits. For, for your Klingon captains, this is the trait that, that you probably will want if you're going to be a tank captain inside the game. Um, also, the other advantage to this trait versus all the other traits in this video, you don't need any specific powers activated for this trait to work. You just need to get hit, which isn't that bad for a, a survival trait. If you're struggling with survival, then you pick the trait so that, that whenever you're getting hit, you survive easier. If you're with a tank and, and are never taking any hits at all, then yeah, the trait's worthless, but it's also a survival trait anyway. So if you don't need survival, then you don't put a survival trait on your ship. But anyway, that's just my, my couple of minutes to talk about like a couple of sea store traits, because I, I know that that's come up quite a bit in a lot of discussions to me recently inside of the, inside of the Armada. So anyway, feel free to like and subscribe if you like this content. Um, I will always be putting out videos on, I'll put out videos twice a week for sure. Um, and I, I'll, occasionally be put, I'll occasionally put out an additional video or two per week as well, depending upon what stuff um, comes in and, and is asked of me. The two videos a week for sure will be of decent quality. The other ones, well, it depends on how much free time that I have. But anyway, um, thank you all for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.